Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. So I will yes. check on that error part. After establishing that pub serb architecture, no, you have to go to that particular device. Under the top, you have the send command option. Okay. In this send command option, uh, if you go. To you have to give a command here okay so i am copying this this is also in your help manual see here it is nothing but this is the final level of uh, command that is to be that is used to enable the connection okay so so you are not sharing your screen so just a second yeah this is fine is it visible now yes so okay yes so in the send command option okay i have copied and pasted this in which is in your quick shot manual okay so here what they are trying to say is it will have you are sending a command from this cloud to that particular device okay to start the initiate to start the data transfer in, initially okay now see here it contains the project id for me it is this is my project id it is under the this region So what is the registry we get? Is it four or three registry? Uh, kind mute everybody mute na. Who is this? Kumar, Faisal. Mute yourself. Yeah. What is the registry we have? Is it three or four? I think somebody. Uh, device id is i think my my hyphen device 4 i think right somebody do you remember yes hello is this right guys this is the registry we have my iphone device 4 my hi guys am i audible yes sir okay i think it is registry 4 my device 4 okay this is the algorithm we are using rs256 number of messages that you can send is 25 the private key we are using from this file is rsc_58.pem file okay just a basic information you will have here okay so now we have to after copying this we have to give press send command initially it will show you an error initially it will show you an error no issues you give okay button here then again go for this update config op uh, option here update config operation here now we can select my hyphen device for here change this correctly you have to be very clear with then it is registry 3 i think or registry 4 let me keep it as registry 4 then give send to device okay see here configuration successfully updated you will get a message like this did you did you see this guys respond na yeah yes yes okay uh, then the last command to check this message whether this message is receiving properly you have to go back to the command cell you have to pull the information from that particular iot device if it is connected you will get the information is, since it is not connected you will get an acknowledgement at least see here It, this command is working. Uh, this is the what I am trying to do here is I am trying to fetch an information from the IoT device by using pull command. Okay, now it is saying zero items because the uh, IoT device is not connected to the Google Cloud. No, so this is fine. Now, if you want to check the same using your uh, the screen now uh, here at the top, you have to select subscription option. Okay. now give subscription option here go to subscription option
so let us be i think we kept it as my subscription one i think it is also there so that's why it's not working i think guys that pubs up architecture you know, already my subscription one was there we should have changed it to my subscription two okay let me use the same old one so i'm using this my subscription one go here okay now in this option it will show whether the connections are fine whether uh, proper is con connection is established between your iot device and your cloud then here you can select this view messages instead of that command you can go here here also you can pull the message from the iot device if it is connected you can pull the information some information you will get okay so now i am trying to pull the information from that see here it is saying no message is found it because the kit is not connected to the cloud platform okay so this is how you create a uh, registry in your iot platform iot google platform then you create a device add that device to the registry then uh, add a public key to the device uh, to the thing then um, uh, create a node.js sample sample file and establish the connection from your iot device to the cloud and start pulling information from that device this is how you do it guys using your google cloud uh, any doubts you have any doubts am i clear guys somebody respond na i am minding it off yes sir okay see this you have to try at least once you have to try then only you will be able to understand this okay